Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. Today's video, I took down this olive tree years ago. I left these logs laying around. We're gonna mill these little logs out. I'm gonna go over how to make a sign like this, a natural edge, quarter inch olive, milled from this log. All right, another day without power at the mill much going on in the wood shop, but we got this teeny old little olive log. Let's see how this works. Let's see what this looks like. That's cool, huh? Oh no, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm in Corel Draw 2018. I always start right here, File, New. My defaults are set here, but yours might not be. So the most important thing is to set this primary color mode to RGB, because that's how you toolpath a cutout. That board I was cutting through is 16 by three and a half, so I set my window size the size of that, so I hit OK. And then I'm gonna create a text box I'm going to create two separate text box. This one's going to say B and then I'll create a second one here. Thankful. And then with that text box box highlighted, I highlight those words. Bookman old style is kind of like <coughs> the font I like. Uh, and then I'm going to set it to like a hundred or if it's not a pull down, you could just set it there at 120. And I'm gonna just make my box a little bit bigger to fit that. And then same with this, I'm gonna highlight that. Okay, and then let me go back and make this text box a little bit smaller. It is olive wood. And I thought, you know, using the piece branch of olive, now I go file, import and then i'm going to import in this graphic and place it here and then i'm going to turn that raster information into vector by going outline trace logo 
Again, it is important that you delete the original image and remove the background. And you can play around with these a little bit. Then once you have it the way you, you want it, then from there, this tool up here is the outline tool. I want to make sure it's going to be a cutout. So that has to be a hairline red, and it can't look like red. It has to be 255, zero, zero. And that outlines that. And then the fill tool, I want to delete all of the inside color. So that's going to cut out that um, olive branch. And then I'm going to go back to my text. And then over here in the right-hand manager is my text properties. And under the fill, I'm going to go no fill here. And then on the outline, I'm going to outline it with hairline red, same thing. The way you program it to be a cutout is 255, zero, zero. So on this one, I deselect the fill. And then now that's a cutout. So that'll cut out those letters. I'll just do that one more time for the thankful part. So I'm on this box. I go to uniform fill. Actually, before I do that, I'll go to outline. It has to be a hairline red. Again, it can't be close. It has to be exactly 255, zero, zero. It's a hexadecimal system. And then now it's outlined in red, which is my cutout. And then up here, I'm going to deselect my fill. And now that'll cut out the back to my selection tool. And I'll drag my olive leaf in there or olive branch. And then we'll go out to the laser and run it. In Corel Draw, I go file, print, VLS 3.6. That sends it to the driver. Minimize that screen. And here's the driver for the universal laser. Uh, right here, I'm going to relocate view. I'm going to click on the center square and put it in the center. Seven, maybe two. So it puts it up there. And then I can double check. There's my board and the laser cutter. If I go to this laser tool here, I could check to see where it is. So here's the top of the T. I'll click on that T. So that's where the top of the T will be. Bottom of the T. Top of the B. So that's off the board, so I don't have to move the whole thing down. So I'm going to come back over here and to relocate view. I'm going to put it at five. Focus view. There's a top of the B. I like where that's placed. Top of the L at the end. It's pretty well placed. We come back here to settings and the material database. It is a material database. I go natural, wood. There's a hardwood. I gotta put it general hardwood. It's exactly 0.25 thick, so I set that right there. That's really important. But this is such a hard wood, I'm gonna turn my vector cutting up pretty substantially. Only because it's olive wood. And I hit play.
parts of the B I might glue back in as well as part of the E. And then to make the stand for it, here's my off cut. I do like that natural ledge. I'm gonna just put a dado in there so it could sit like this and then on that side. So the height of the dado will be the middle of that. And then I'm just gonna approximate it. Uh, kind of in the middle here. I think I'll have that natural edge forward. But I am gonna set it on an exact measurement here. So when I come over for the second dado cut, I'll keep track of where I am. And I do want to make sure my board's long enough to hold on to. Oh, there's a perfect fit right there. I think I'm going to run this one just flush to the top. I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark it. Straight edge always on the fence. one mark and cross cut and then I'll just use a little bit of wood glue this is a little looser and glue those in. 